Hey, what's up guys? I get a lot of questions on my tutorial videos, just like I'm sure most tutorial people do, uh, that are phrased something along the lines of, here's the problem I'm having, what did I do wrong? And I've noticed that a lot of people ask me these questions about spray cans and spray painting. So in this video, we're gonna talk about the top five things that I think you need to avoid uh, when you're trying to spray paint something. So a lot of the questions that I get and a lot of the problems that people are having come back to these kind of five mistakes that are very common and that people don't really seem to understand because, you know, with every, with every spray paint, they're a little different. Um, but here are my top five things that you need to avoid. First of all, you got to be careful about your recoat time. So avoid having the wrong recoat times when you're spraying. If you try and spray something twice within five minutes, you're probably going to end up with problems with your paint underneath on your previous coats not drying properly and the paint will go on top from your next coat, the surface of it will dry and your paint will end up soft and it'll never quite harden properly. A lot of people get these, uh, these projects done and they, they go paint their guitar for example and then they lay it down on a towel to polish the face of it and when they flip it over an hour later they realize that there are indents in the back from the towel. So you got to observe, observe the proper recoat times. Um, for a lot of this stuff, it's only like 10 minutes apart, as long as you're only doing about three coats. So make sure you know what you're supposed to be using for the paint that you're uh, working with. Next, coats that are too light or too heavy. A lot of people will see on, for example, a can of lacquer that they need to be working with light coats. Uh, that's fine, but if you spray it too light, it's going to go on basically as dust all the solvents in the paint will evaporate in the air before it even makes it onto your piece. So sometimes people are telling me that the piece appears dry, it's not smooth. It's not gonna be smooth if you don't put it on heavy enough. Conversely, if you put it on too heavy, then you run into issues with it not drying or with it running, things like that. So you're gonna to wanna to practice before you paint something you actually <laughs> or care about. At least go off to the side and spray, you know, something, a piece of scrap wood or whatever a couple times and just make sure that your paint seems to be doing what you think it's supposed to be doing. Next up, mixing different paint types. All right? People often, and I, I keep saying people in a condescending way, but that's not what I mean. Uh, you guys, sometimes you, you go out and you get a couple paint cans and one says clear coat and one says color and you just think you can put them on top of each other. And sometimes you can, of course. But in some circumstances, even within the same company, one of those will be enamel, one will be acrylic or lacquer, and sometimes those aren't gonna work together unless you're very careful about how you work with them. So if you spray a couple coats of uh, an enamel color on there and then you try and go over it with a clear lacquer 10 minutes later, like you often would if you were doing all enamels, you're probably gonna have a problem. The lacquer might peel, it might uh, pull together and create little ridges, it might fish eye or create little pock marks in it. So that's a problem that you can have uh, if you're not careful about either using all the same kind of paint or being careful about how you layer it. And I did talk recently in one of my videos about how to layer different paint types without running into that problem. Uh, but it is a fairly specific system that you need to do for that. So be careful about that one. Next up, trying to fix wet paint. It's, it's something that as you paint will become very self-explanatory and you'll realize you shouldn't be doing this, but sometimes uh, when someone gets like a run or something in their paint, they'll try and wipe it off while the paint's still wet. That's just gonna cause you more problems. It, no amount of being careful is, is going to solve that for you as far as I'm concerned. It's easier to just let it dry and then fix it. Don't be afraid to let it dry and then sand it back. That's not a problem. Um, but if you try and fix it while it's still wet, you're going to leave prints in it, you're going to leave marks, you're probably almost definitely just going to make it worse. The same applies even when you're not using spray cans, when you're just airbrushing. Never try and fix wet paint. Let it dry. It's not that hard to fix it afterward. Um, don't mess with it while it's still wet. And then finally, adhesion problems from not sanding and stuff like that. For some reason, uh, and I can totally understand it, people are are spraying stuff and then they're scared to sand it after. They think, oh, that looks good. I don't want to touch it. I'll just spray over it with clear coat and seal it in there. That doesn't always work. If you're using, for example, a gloss paint and, uh, and it's not a lacquer, because lacquer melts into itself, but a gloss polyurethane or an enamel and you spray it out and you let it dry overnight and it looks good, 
and then you just spray clear coat right over it, there's a good chance that that clear coat's not going to stick properly and it might peel off. Uh, it might delaminate after a day, turn flaky, stuff like that. So a lot of problems can arise there. Whereas if you just sand it lightly first, I know it seems kind of daunting, but that allows the clear coat to adhere. And if you've used a fairly high grit, I like to go with 800 when I'm doing something like that. Um, the clear coat fills in all those sanding scratches anyway, and you'll never be able to tell that it was sanded. The exception being with like a metal flake or something like that, it can mess with the alignment of it. And in those cases, you still sand it, then you put very, a very light coat of the metal flake on and then clear coat. Um, don't be afraid to, use, to do some sanding uh, partway through your project. If your paint's had time to dry, chances are you're going to want to scuff it up before you paint over it again. Don't sand it when it's wet, let it harden first and uh, be careful when you're sanding near the edges because paint doesn't build up ar around corners and edges very well so it's very easy to sand through it there. All you need is a very light scuff to be able to paint over stuff and, uh, and that'll solve a lot of these adhesion problems that people are having. So guys those are probably the five most common issues that I see, uh, the most common mistakes and they lead to a whole host of problems that can be avoided fairly easily just by following those simple rules and avoiding those common mistakes. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, post them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them either here or in one of my upcoming uh, Ask Brad videos. I, I publish those fairly frequently and that's, that's what they're for is answering people's questions. So check those out. Uh, there's a good chance I've already answered your question in fact, so feel free to have a look. And I hope that you guys enjoyed the video. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.